Okay, so this shouldn't be for Twitch at all. This should just be for this. Is it working? Are we finally good to go? Alright, sweet. So anyone's wondering, like, oh, where's your web, my webcam at? My uh, webcam is currently not with us because I made... I actually don't know why it's not working. It's just, it's just not working. Testing? Right, so this shouldn't be... For yeah, so like it's just not working. I don't know why it's not working. Um, da -da -da -da. They're gonna do this. I don't like to put up these like these flyers, I suppose, until um, I actually. Oh shit, I'm sorry about that. Um, so I can actually like see my stream is going and everything. Realistically, no one's gonna watch this whole entire thing. And if they are, they get another little setup, a little setup for it. All right. Then I'm gonna add a picture that I made for this. Snapchat has an amazing filters, honestly. I wish I could do Snapchat filters live, so that way I can just do this stuff. So I can just have like this whole setup live. I'm sure there's a way to do something like this, but like I don't know yet. It's pretty sick though. Let um, me just pop YouTube on my phone so I can actually like see my stream, so I can see like chat and stuff. Live well, chat, cool. As I do have, I guess, a technical second monitor, but I also do not have a second monitor. All right, so that's all set up. Very sweet. All right, so I guess like what the what we're doing today is um opening up. Fuck this button. Um, Spotify, to put some kind of music on because I need something going on. And I will always plug my man Neat Cat just because, like, his stuff on the for one is good. For two, will not get me demonetized. I don't even get monetization, but I'm like copy like like DMCA, uh, DMCA strict or anything, I think, anything like that. Okay. I am quite rusty at this, yes, I should. Whew. So, I, uh, what am I doing today? We are making a Kenny game. What does that even mean, though? Besides trying to use a little bit of a known person on the game dev to get some traction again, which is, you know, kind of shitty, I guess, kind of normal. It's whatever. Um, we just going, yeah, it's whatever. I'm just using someone's name to get myself up in the, in the world. 10 out of 10. Could not be me. So yeah, I honestly tagged him in it just to be like, you know, maybe he'll check it out, maybe not. It's always cool, I think, to show people the things that they're being made with their tools. I know someone recently had purchased one of my tools, and I was just like, someone even downloaded this shit. It actually put a lot of downloads since then. A lot more than I had expected, which is pretty sick, I gotta say. So what we're doing today is uh, make using his new tool. So we'll go over here. I woke up this morning and I saw this and I was like, oh shit, it's going to be good. And I was like, when is he going to release it though? So I clicked on his Twitter and stuff to check it out, went to my new stuff, bam, and then I saw his new ship mixer. Now I didn't even plan to make anything, uh, like honestly, I thought it was a cool project, but like I don't really, like, really work with this stuff usually, so I was like, eh, top down shooter. Not really my speed, I don't think, right now. But then I was like, you know what? I need to get streaming again. I need to get working on the game again. His new tool just came out. It's a probably a good... It, like, it should be a good way to market, like, my own stuff. It's, for, like, use a new tool that just came out, retweet it, get that stuff going. And I figured, you know, it's a good way to get things going again. Plus, my fiancé just got me to download, um... Oh, shit. I just got me do to download, um... What, uh, Snapchat again. I haven't used Snapchat in a long time. Like, a long time. I don't remember the last time I used Snapchat was. It was probably when I was, like, talking to people that use Snapchat. Literally, the only way, reason I've ever even, like, used Snapchat was because, like, someone I was interested in, or friends with, even, had, like, something going on with Snapchat. And I'm like, yeah, did you get Snapchat? I'm like, I don't, but I can. Alright. Also, 
I, I feel like someone's gonna like screenshot this and go like, what the fuck's up with that? Uh, this, No Critters Allowed, was a game I was going to work on. It was gonna be a mixture of a tactics RPG like Final Fantasy Tactics, Ogre Tactics, you know, Fire Emblem, that sort of game, and a visual novel that was about someone that had gotten kicked out of their home because they were uh, gay, and their new landlord, they got a new a new job and everything, and they were going to soon find out that their new landlord was also homophobic. But it was the only place that would like accept their applications or whatnot, only place available with their like income level. So you, you had to take it. It was kind of based on personal experience, kind of not. Also, there were some people that I heard about this experience as well. It was what I did not actually continue to work on beyond a concept. I think it is a great concept. The reason why I did not really go through with it, for one, it was because the amount of money that it would take to actually get art for that kind of game, to make like to do it justice, was, it was a heavy amount. It was a lot of money. But I still have it now. Uh, for two, I really wanted to work on a tactics game. I love the idea. I love passion for it. But Boyfriend Dungeon also came out, and while it's not exactly the same kind of game, it kind of hits on some of the same points in a way. It's kind of similar, and I didn't want to be like, oh, it's a Boyfriend Dungeon game. While I love Boyfriend Dungeon, did not want to be like, it's just a copy of Boyfriend Dungeon. Did not really... I don't really want that going on there. So, we did it. Uh, we're going to call this Project Star. I, I swear to have I, I've dubbed this Project Star because it's easy, simple, and fun to play with. I even got a little document set up already right here. Because we need to make a design document, so I do not know what the hell I'm making right now. Like, all I know is that I wanted to make a, probably a shooter, with the ship mixer. Which does not run on Opera GX. I'm pretty sure it ran the first time. Like, it just will not run on my copy of Opera GX. I do not know why. It's probably some kind of, like, issue with that. But I don't know, because if I go to... Uh, shit. Um, I don't have my account signed in right now. My personal account. Uh, Gado Puppets. Yeah, like, if, if I go over to here, WebGL's not available. WebGL not... I'm pretty sure I ran it on this one, though. Like, I am super confident. Maybe I can get to work on this. Um, uh, for GX. Alright, so we go to Browser, Preferences. You guys won't see anything too crazy on this stuff. It's just basic. I don't use Twitch. I guess the issue right now is like YouTube or Twitch, they're both really shitty companies, and I'm just like, uh. Alright, what time am I actually looking for it now? Um. Use hardware acceleration. Use hardware acceleration. It's already enabled. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to quit Opera, reopen Opera, and I'm dox myself from fast. Alright, so reopen Opera, alright, this should work, yeah, it's working now, like I said, I, I was pretty confident that it worked the first time I loaded Shit Mixer up, and I knew that HIO games worked on it, so I had played my own HIO, my HIO demo for my uh, tools and stuff on there. So I was like, what the fuck? This has to work. Alright, we're just gonna like... Twitter.com, class. Ah, whatever for me. Alright, we're just... We're, we're, we're getting there. This is, this is like a way too long intro for like this whole thing. This whole, this whole thing has taken way too fucking long. For me personally. There we go, there we go. Uh, right now, we are not going to um, support this tool. Not because I don't want to, but I'm actually kind of running a little low on it right now. But in the future, though, we will. 
And actually, you know, maybe we'll make this game, like, we'll put a premium version for the game, and, like, half of whatever go is, is made will go to uh, the support of the tool. Okay. So it doesn't look like the body doesn't change, but, like, everything else changes, so it's kind of changed the body altogether. Um, what are we looking for here? It's a lot of spacey stuff, which I, which I love. Uh huh. What if we made a roguelite game? Roguelike, I should say. Roguelike or roguelite? I think roguelite in the sense that, um. Here, let's go this, uh. Star Project GDPD. And, um. Oh, Project Star, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm dyslexic. Okay, uh. Project Star. Project Star, uh, a game made by Vesper Belmont, um, uh, Ship Mixer by, they won't insert Kenny's little logo, because I honestly just like the branding. For me, like, I, I might make this, like, public so sometime a bit, and eventually, but I really just love having good branding for this stuff. People told me before, you don't have to have this kind of, like, level of whatever, like, development to the, to the page right away. But, like, I I need it, though. <laughs> Someone else might not need it, but I I need it. I feel like this is, it, it's not enough, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not the right font for this. Let's see if I can get a different, like, more like, uh... No, it's too, too boy city. Impact. I don't like impact though. Impact seems a little tacky. More fonts. I want something a little, a little spacey, a little, a little spacey. You know what I'm saying? And they, one thing I hate about this shit is they have no previews. From what I can tell, or it's a very limited preview where I can't really tell the difference. All right, this is fine for right now. Uh, ship mixer by. We're gonna add this to subtitle as well. Um. Subtitle. Update subtitle to match. There we go. This took me actually a hell of a long time to figure out. We're actually just going to put this in the tools section over here. Um, tools and assets use. All right, so we're gonna put this in normal text. This is gonna be a heading one. Nope, shit, no. All right, uh, heading one. No, I don't like that either. I want, I guess we'll use oxygen for it now. Uh, update once to match, bam. Shape Mixer by Kenny, and then we're just going to link this to the Ship Mixer. Like I said, this is not necessary whatsoever, but I personally like to do this, because it's like, nice, you know? Alright, so let's get down to like the actual stuff here. Let's get down to the concept that we have played for here. Okay, uh, heading one. A rogue light uh, shooter with proc gen um, areas that will start the player on a planet with a rundown air uh, starcraft. Let's say let's say uh, let's say aircraft aircraft with lots of. Lots of bullets. With lots of uh, sweats, blood, and pixels, they will uh, build their ship up 
to space and its head among amongst the stars. A little, uh, a little, um, Jesus Christ, I can't think of the name. A little reference here, uh, Amazon.com. Uh, if you guys don't know, this is actually a really awesome book. Blood, Sweat, You Son of a Bitch. Uh, Blood, Sweat, Pixels. It's, a it's and Pixels, but I'm not spelling the whole thing out right now. Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, Asian Schreier. 10 out of 10 book. Honestly, great book. Whenever someone's like, why do you recommend a book? What does it teach you? It teaches you absolutely anything, but it shows you how this how game development is. You know, like it teaches you how like random it is, how wild it is, how not standard it is. Like you could be a genius and make zero bucks off game dev. You could make zero games. You could spend your whole lifetime trying to like get to a, a standard that you are happy with, but then some some fool with like some like middle school kid with Unity and some tutorials can you know hop on make a small game and put on itch or something or have their mom or dad like help them put on steam and make a ton of money off it because ultimately it's about passion you know it's about the what, what it takes to make it and this book definitely has that we're gonna link that in this because i think that's a nice little little reference there all right bam cool uh -huh. da -da 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 -da. also i'm gonna share this as a public document Anyone, anyone link, uh, they can comment if they want, they want. I guess kind of like an open collaborative effort. I think that's in the spirit of the game, I like the tool. Documents. There's some background noise now. I'll be right back, guys. fan of the room, my fiance really needs a fan on, but it's, she's not here right now, and it's kind of killing the, the audio. Here, let's hear it starting off us. Alright. Fan of the room, my fiance really needs a fan on, but it's, she's not here right now, and it's kind of killing the, the audio. Here, let's hear it starting off. Alright, sounds like it's going pretty good. Alright, so. <laughs> Audio is a huge issue with streaming. I fucking hate audio so much. If I was rich, I'd hire someone just to watch my audio and like help me adjust it on like on the fly. Okay. See so, ya. Yeah. Oh, the copy is different. Whew. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's all set up. Did I did I even share this? Uh huh. You wanna check out the uh, design document. Hold on. So, so it's all cool and everything. Um, you know, I think that's like one of mechanics. I want to add also a name, a little like a uh huh, um, name ideas. We're gonna slap this right in second place here because I don't want this to be like its own category, its own heading. I want this to be like a little, a little wedged, little wedged in there. Uh, mechanics. We also will need like uh, a roadmap, I suppose. We'll call it roadmap. I like calling it roadmap. Roadmap's just like milestones. Like, yeah, it's cool and all. It, it's a little too like school for me, but I do love roadmap. It's a good little name. Um, from the ground up. I don't know. What it's called. All right. 
Also, if anyone is a little bored, like, where's the actual, like, game development of this? Where's, like, the actual stuff? There will be actual game development, but, you know, you don't want to start game development before you have, like, an actual game to develop. Oh, that Android 12 UI there for charging was fucking awesome. That was such a nice little animation there. It's like a nice little video game. Love that. Honestly, Android probably should, like, honestly should have like a, a like a gamer option so you can have like all the gaming options because if they had like cool rgb settings and all that i'm fucking down for that uh anyways um <laughs> so yeah roadmap so we're gonna say uh um build 0.1 call this i would call this like um alpha one alpha two alpha three Alpha four, alpha five. I had to break things up into like these kind of little small groupings, so like a certain amount. It's like small updates, but it works out. All right, and if you're like, well, it's gets like a game in a day, right? It's like where we have all these little milestones. It's just so that like I can know where I'm at with this whole thing. So the mechanics, um, we need a um, tubular title screen. Um, we need character movement. We need a combat um, upgrade system. Um, area generator. All right, let's start with this stuff here. This is already a lot of stuff right I'm dealing with right now, so. Yeah, and I guess the other part, if you're like, like, everyone's coming in, you're like, well, this is boring as hell. What is this shit? This is literally how game development starts. You literally start by planning shit out. Some people have different processes than me, but I need, like, a game plan, because I will not... I need a game plan, because I need to focus on things. I need to know what I'm building. If I started building character movement, then I had the idea for this, and then I just kind of didn't like what kind of went with it after the outcome of me doing that would most likely be making character movement systems that I have to replace or like patch up or whatever or just are not compatible with what I actually want to make which is never a good thing all right so title screen we're gonna look at some old uh, old shooters um retro shooter title screen uh, Arcade screens. I want to see arcade screens. Arcades have the top-notch screens. All right, so I want to see what some of these cool screens are here. Shooting arcade. I don't. Uh, retro shooting arcade screens. Arcade titles. Arcade titles. All right. Let's just, let's just go with this. Um, can't take any good shots on this shit at all. Uh, no, there's like nothing I actually want to see. Alright. Um, sh shooter arcades. Yeah, they just have the arcade machines. They have like a whole visual on them, and the visual just sucks ass. Alright, we're just gonna bring that on and on later on. So, character movement. Um, We'll do player, we'll do AI. I don't know if I want, I, I'm gonna add in the option to have enemies and ally AIs. That's cause you never know when you wanna add the AI in for an ally. So I kinda wanna add that in. Um, player, should we sign up to be co-op or single player? I think couch co-op could be a really sweet idea, but I wanna integrate it in a different way. So like, it's not gonna be a Maybe like a drone assistant that you like you, you go around the play the main the player one so that way two players aren't trying to like conflict with a high score separately but rather player one needs to make it to the end of this match of the match or player two also dies so it's kind of like a co-op like they have to be a team together to work it out I think that's a sweet idea actually um, all right so 
We're gonna, write, we're gonna write a whole like a little game idea here, some like game stuff, uh, ideas, ideas, and things that will never happen. Usually, uh, okay. So, um, co-op. Player one will be the uh, the main the main ship that upgrades and all that. Player two will be a drone assistant that uh, that has to protect the ship and can move around the general area of the main ship. The idea is that they will have to work together to make it to space and get a high score. Uh, creating a team experience rather than friends uh, fighting over a high score or progress. Because I love competitive games, but sometimes like this stuff, I want to create a more of a co-op experience you now. A little co-op experience. Alright, so player movement. Um, player 1. Player... Yeah, let's say player... Let's just say... We'll, we'll just, when I can, I can... I can make this work for both players. Um, player, player. The player will be able to move in all directions but will be facing upward it's like upward uh, mm -hmm. all times um, they will also okay so they're playing all times uh times um they will need to be moving at a consistent pace to keep up with the uh, camera scroll, which is, you know, important. Alright, the camera scroll, oh, camera scroll, um, Uh, moving backwards, backwards will be considered breaking and allow them to. Oh shit! This is breaking wrong. Yeah. Wait, no. Is it? Is it breaking? You're gonna break a car, right? Yeah, it's it's correct. And say like I'm not breaking anything. I want to. I want. I want to break like the action of breaking a vehicle. No, fuck off. I know. I'm just, I know. I know my English is kind of. All right. So, allowing them to move uh, to to fall behind the camera and in general uh, move backward slash break fast. Uh, all right. Moving outside the camera. Uh, behind will allow the player to get a prompt to leave the game via a cool little narrative. Narrative. All right, sweet. So we know how this is gonna work. I'm just gonna jump into like getting stuff together because I know that it's gonna be more fun to like actually build this. We have this little guy here. All right. I want a very basic one to start with, so that way the players really know that they're what they're going up for. Yeah, very basic little guns. Everything's very basic. Basic little rotaries and yeah, very basic little ship. All right, so I also want it all to be like this. All right. If you don't know why I'm doing it like this, it's like in, um, like go ahead and make them different colors later on. All right. 
that should be pretty cool. I mean, the problem with this is I had like I had to like separate every single thing though. Um, hmm. I want to do it like that, or I just want to make like I think I'm just gonna make different ships. That way, it's just like you can pick your own ships, purchase different ships and stuff. You can buy different skins for them, like whatever. Like things, 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 things like that would be pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna start with a nice little. We're gonna do a blue ship. I I, I like the color blue. I'm gonna start with this. I don't know how that's worth, so. Uh, Alright, and then what's this for? Oh, I should get more. Colors for this though. Alright, for right now that's just gonna be the ship color. It's all good. I can always change the colors later on if I really want to. And yeah, uh, alright, so spreadsheet. We're gonna go to my game dev stuff, studios, make it simple, the development, project star. Uh, call it graphics, uh, characters, um, uh, player, player ship, uh, player ship, or, uh, I'll call it, we'll call it alpha, uh, alpha, alpha, um, Alpha basic. Actually, you know, I'm gonna have to like. All right, so what we're gonna do with the with the gun part is we're gonna remove. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it like this anyways. So yeah, just just do it like this. Let's do it like this fast. Because when I go down to it, I have to like detach all this different stuff anyways. So it's gonna be pain in the ass. Um, sprite sheet. Let's just go with um, alpha basic model. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to do some stuff here to make this like work, and that is gonna be completely fine and cool. Make some extra work. It's not a tool that's like meant to be like perfect for every game I make. Rather a tool that you could use for free, and that is good enough for me. Alright, so we're gonna create a new. Gonna go to here, about 1920, 1080. What we're gonna do now is just go to here. We're gonna take this basic model, 10 out of 10. Great. We're gonna leave it just like that. We're not gonna increase it or anything like that. We're just gonna delete that old stuff. I'm gonna scroll in here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if the magic tool will actually make this easier for me. Magic, yeah. Let's see if I can just like select this without it being too much pain in the ass. Here, on, on second thought, let me just go in with my uh, lasso. It'll be way easier to do this with it. This stuff here. Like up, round. This is so much easier with like a stylus. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to rasterize them. We're gonna take this, and I actually don't need 
more than one of these, so it's gonna delete. 10 out of 10, awesome. All right, now we're gonna take this in this massive canvas and we're just gonna slap it over here. I might even make some more ships of my own based on this style, just to like fit this stuff a little better. Have some more whatever diversity and all that stuff. All right, so we're just gonna scroll all the way over here. All right, so we're gonna put this as um, ship. I don't wanna say that this is like a basic model. Let's set a folder here, group, bump. I call this uh, ship bodies. The basic model is great, you know, it's perfect what we need. Okay, um, then we're just gonna go into this tool, put it to pencils, or yeah, pencil, one pixel. Uh, no, G, one, uh, G, what the hell is it? Uh, I. Bump. Uh, pencil here, so we're gonna. Bump, bump, bump. up a tiny bit, get rid of that uh, a little eraser tool, what the hell do I have? Oh, I got it. Making sure it's all good here. Cool. Alright, so that is the basic model for the foundation. What we gotta do next is then find the wings again. This is a, these are the basic wings, but they have animations. So we have to cut out all the bodies here. Super, super skill. This is a bit of work, but like the end result though is the proper thing I need to make a system for this. I'm not working on playing customization like at all today. I don't, I'm not, I'm not thinking anyways, unless I get bored. Unless I get like really, really bored. It's cause that kind of stuff, the like controller support and like keyboard support, it just, it, 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 it takes a minute to do. It's not a simple, or super simple or anything. And unfortunately, my time on this stuff is very limited every day. But with streaming, I really enjoy streaming a lot. And with making things like this, I think it'll be super fun to like keep doing it, keep working on it. This is a game that I do plan to just like put out like right away. So like I'm not gonna like sit here and hold on to the game forever. I'm gonna start putting demos out for it immediately, like putting out the the game. With them, I don't care what state it's in. We're gonna put out the uh, premium edition of it, which will go towards um, the, the other tool as well, as well as with HIO. I'll probably have to make it two bucks just because, like, a dollar is what I want to make it, but, like, it's just gonna be, um, Basic. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna say uh, we're gonna say starter, starter, better than, than basic. Cause it's kind of like what's gonna be starting. Like, every plane's gonna have this, no matter what. Every ship's gonna have this. Um, wings. All right. So we're gonna, we're gonna save this. Uh, we're gonna go to our gonna forge game dev studios. Apex simple in development. Project star. Graphics, uh, characters, and we're just gonna like um, call this uh, shipmaster.psd. 10 out of 10, what was our time? Awesome. Alright. What I'm also gonna do next is I'm just gonna put on a 
a quick little Snapchat story. I, I might actually use Snapchat pretty often just because it's, it's a lot of fun. Easy way to put something real, like, really quickly. And I share this with all my friends and shit like that. Sorry, I can't like show you guys this whole like aspect of it, but I will be doing putting this stuff out on all my platforms really soon. So it's gonna be pretty sick. I want to like share all this kind of stuff with you guys. Oh shit! Man of the hour is here. Ten out of ten. Awesome. Like just having Kenny like like my stuff is honestly makes me better. But this, this picture is also 10 out of 10. All right, so yeah, let's hop in over here. Oh shit, my phone's off again. Um, hop on my stream again so I don't lose my stuff because I need to see the chat and all that stuff with that. All right, cool. So, we are dissecting this stuff. We have the basic wings. I'm gonna hop this over. I'm just gonna save it as. We're gonna do as a PNG file, of course. All right, PNG, we're going to call this Shipmaster because we need it to be uh, slow saving. Slow saving, but small files are really important, so let's do that. Bam. All right, so with graphics, let's open up a... We're just going to put a node because we don't really need the properties for a 2D node. Uh, we're going to call this Gameplay because this is where the gameplay is going to happen at, so it's pretty... Straightforward. I've been working a lot in Unity lately, and Unity is really fun. Lots of great features and everything, but your know, dough just hits different. It's in like a perfect little, it's a little spot in your heart that's just like, it's amazing. I just, I wish that, I guess there was like more basic features. I don't say basic, more like features that I want to, uh, that I, that I would, like I personally need a little more of which is just shipping a game out. Because for me, it is hard to, um, like putting a game out for like itch.io, super easy stuff. Steam, I have not messed with, but I've heard Steam is kind of difficult all around. So I'm not gonna really be all iffy on that one. Um, so yeah. But like mobile stuff, I don't, I haven't used shared mobile development, like exporting and uh, this version of Ghetto, which is 3.4. However, I have not tried it yet, but I am a little wary because I'm just concerned that um, like it's not, it's still not to be easy. Cause I know they have been working on uh, putting out the, um, the app bundle stuff which is what we need now for the Google, the Google Play Store, which, you know, I think is really, like, it's a good move. They're all overall all more support friendly towards a lot of things, but it's not super easy to do with Godot. People have done it, but I have not been able to do it. And like my ability to ask, player ship, we don't need that anymore. My ability to find people that know how to do it has been really lacking. And it's kind of a letdown, just cause like, I wanna know how to do this stuff, but like, it's hard by anyone that knows how to do this stuff. Uh, import, detect 3D, uh, shit, how's this gonna work? Use it's like a, a texture, re-import, uh, damn. It's all, Incredibly blurry. Is that just because like the quality of it? Like is that, like, is that the slow save? I actually already am making a roguelite out of this. Right up, right up here, my guy. If it's it has to be perfect for like roguelite games, so much fun, so much fun. Um, let me try and save it as I, I don't know if what I saved it as just messed it up or not. So I don't usually do slow saving. Let's try this one. I haven't had problems with importing stuff like this yet. I don't really know. 
let's just toss it into the, maybe it's just zooming in on it too much. Let's slap it over here real quick and just shift controller, move it to the middle here. Let's put up by like by five by five or something. Yeah, it's just blurry as hell, why is that? Um, get dough, 3.4 blurry sprite. I didn't upscale it at all though. Is my only thing, like I did not. Here, there's one way to, there's one way to solve this. I have this right here. It's already a, a base model for this. Yeah, they're just coming in blurry. That's that's weird. I haven't had issues with this yet. Oh man, fuck. Fix uh Move maps are off. Anti is off. Tech 3D. What the fuck, man. Let's try this image, maybe. No. What the hell? Why is it coming in super blurry for? Uh, let me just go and grab another random. Let me try to change other stuff real fast. Yeah, I know like uh, Godot had a setting that was just like textured 2D, but they changed it in the new version and I haven't had issues with it yet, but I don't know which setting, like the anti strophic is off, mid, uh, mid maps is off, maybe filter and turn that off. Oh shit, there we go, there we go. Okay. I was scared for a second, like how is like, it's usually there's not a problem with this stuff, but. All right, so we're gonna turn filter off. We're going to, can I not keep it as a preset or 2D pixel? Okay, there, there, there we go. That's what I need anyways, Jesus Christ. All right. All right, so that all works out. Cool, cool, we're all good. Um, the body is here. So now we just gotta add the wing file in. Delete this again, because I don't need that anymore. The one thing I'm super excited for with uh, Godot 4.0 is gonna be that I can, if I accidentally go into my folders and I delete something, it's not gonna be a huge issue anymore, what they said, and that I'm excited for. Very simple, but like big feature. Oh, uh, can I like, uh, I need to like pixel snap this stuff over here. All right, we're just gonna do this. the problem with that was, but you know, it's fixed now. All right, so the great thing with this is that now I can like modulate it. It's a simple color for right now, but I think there should be fine. It'll be good enough. Uh, I'm not going for anything crazy right now. Later on, people are like, yeah, this would be like, a really good feature for the game. And like, it does pretty well. I'll check it out then, but. We're doing one thing at a time here. One thing at a time. All right, so that's all good. We got body, wings. Uh, okay. What we're gonna do now is add a script. We're gonna call this um, wings sprites. Wing, uh, wing sprites. Wing sprite manager. There's going to be a lot of this stuff that I don't really need, but I want because it lets make things a little less convoluted, a little easier to follow along with. Uh, I'm going to go ship, um, ship scripts. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to export an array. Actually, no, oh, it's going to be a dictionary, right? Yeah, dictionary. So we need all the grab things that we, uh, we need. Uh, then they should, um, Variable, let's say, uh, I mean, it is a wing manager. Let's just make it simple and array it. You know, it adds some more variables to this, but this is a script just for the wing spread, so who gives a shit, quite honestly. Um, export variable, uh, wing, wing, 
library uh, level one. Okay, damn it, this keeps messing me though. Uh, we're gonna say wing, uh, I'm say starter, starter wings. We're gonna say, yeah, we're gonna say, um, level, level one wings. The reason why I'm doing this is because of this. So, um, Let's say I'm just gonna have like kind of like random, random. But let's say for like I want. Damn it! I'm just actually call these. Uh, I'm just call these wings. Uh, wing. Library. Starter. Um. I don't really know what else I'd have this for. It's gonna say like level two. Level three. Level four. Level five. So the reason why I'm not assigning anything, like, I'm not 100% what I want to do with this yet. It's like, later on if I want to add something specific, I want to make sure that I have the proper stuff for that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go here and go to function, um, update, visual, um, sprite, name, then I'm gonna go to uh, self dot uh, texture equals wing library um, wing library sprites name uh, then we're gonna do variable uh, index length which is gonna be wing library sprite name dot size minus one all right then we're gonna go by um, um, Randy index length all right so this will do is that this will give us an, an, an index length, which is what we need. Um, and then we'll use that index, the index length is how many like wings we'll have in these. And then I'll get a random index, like I'll look at random number of which one we want to upgrade to. It'll take the texture and apply it to the swing texture, which is great for it now. Um, we're gonna say ship. I'm gonna say uh, player ship visual. Manager. I'm not like, there's always a lot of things, like I've seen a lot of indecisive side, but I could like to plan things out, make sure I have things to go that are good. I don't want to mess around and keep things going, like, are you going to put this on GitHub when you're done? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on, uh, I'm going to put it on itch.io. I have a little thing for it up here somewhere. Shit, where'd I go? Uh, where's my git dash for that? Yes, I have a little thing for it. I'm gonna put it on itch.io. There's gonna be a free copy with it, including with an H and A on HTML5 thing to play on here. And then I'm gonna also upload the Godot files as well. So you can download it as like a starter pack. And I'm gonna have a premium edition as well on there, which is gonna go towards like supporting this tool. Upper side will go to this tool. Support will go. Part of that will go to itch.io. It's really not gonna be like a super like game made to be like, I guess commercially viable or like successful, but rather just be a a good little game made with a cool tool. And the most stuff I get out of it is some exposure, but it's a really cool project. 
I'm hoping to get something playable done by today. The main issue I have right now is that I work at 7-Eleven at a nice little gas station that is like not nice at all. It's actually not too bad right now. All the college kids are gone, so it's kind of just quiet all night. But um, yeah, so I work from like 11 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. I have to sleep for at least six hours a day. I have to clean my apartment, spend time with my fiance and friends at times. So getting that done with a lot of game dev is like a bitch and a half, but um, the ship visual function level um, level up visuals um, new level and then we're gonna go through um, for child for um for spray in self dot get children um s dots what did I, what did I call this one update visual update visual new level and that's probably all this description gonna do is just level things up uh right so we're gonna have a ship controller we're gonna call this a uh, ship controller as well here I could just add this into my little module thing. Actually, where's, where's that at? Um, I have stuff for this already pre-made. I can just grab it real fast. Studio, gosh, it's in, it's in um, personal, isn't it? I can't remember really what this shit at. Uh, game project. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, it's in studios, my personal work. Pixel Panic tools. Project files. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in character puppets. And I think camera rig also has a thing for it, which is cool. It's gonna snag those two things. I'm just gonna slide them over here real fast. All right, so character puppets. This will be a pretty good for uh, moving into top down. Alright, so a top down puppet. We're gonna kneel this real fast. Oh, fuck me, man. Fix dependencies. Fix broken dependencies. Alright. Oh, fuck me, man. Character core. This is one issue I'm gonna have to like, fix so that people don't have to like, keep messing with this stuff all the time. All right, so that's a nice little character core stuff going on there. We're not gonna about this too much though. Take that shit out. Um, so I already have like pre-made this whole thing with my top-down puppets and all that stuff. Um, ship controller not gonna be required. Uh, requirement. We call this ship controller. Move over here. Ship. Uh, actually, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make so top down. Uh, son of a bitch. We're going to make a new inherited scene. Uh, we're gonna call this ship controller scenes characters. It's kind of a little convoluted way to set this up, but like it gets going really quickly. It'd be, it'd be also nice for my uh, so I can actually develop this further with the uh, stuff I need for it. Particle effects. I'm just going to delete this one for right now so I don't actually need that. This one here. Don't need that at all. Uh, ship controller, merge drum scene. Then we'll go to scenes, we'll go to gameplay. We'll take this right here, steal that. And then we're going to delete this all together. Bam, bam. We're gonna close this down for now. I'll keep the modules up because I need those still. Uh, scenes, character, ship controller. All right. So what I'm doing with ship controller is we're actually doing a new inherited scene here. I'm gonna call this um, player, ship, controller. All right, player, ship controller. So ship controller, we're gonna go to here. Um, character puppets. Yeah, it's gonna put it there anyways, man. 
chip controller, bam. So that works. However, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need top down puppets, copy script path. We're gonna close that down, inherit from. Uh, okay, puppets, scripts, puppets, top down, puppet two. We're gonna call this ship controller. Bam, that's all set. Now from here, we have to go over to here now and we have to go delete this. And it's gonna inherit from the ship controller. So player ship controller, boom. All right. I'm going to be right back. Let's go get some water. Okay. So we have that set up. So what we need for a ship controller is we need to have variables. Um, we'll call this experience, we'll call this XP. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it at the zero. Um, uh, XP is, uh, is gained from multiple actions and contributes to leveling up the ship. Ship, variable, level equals one uh, level is how far along you are in ship development development um, okay what more I'm actually gonna put some like a little few things here so it's gonna be like that this uh, I'm gonna say level documentation um, Level one through five is planetary um, travel. Um, level six and up will be space travel if I decide to make it that far later on. Right now, that we're sticking to one through five. Anything else we actually need? Um, top down, the 2D. This stuff is actually obsolete. This stuff is also obsolete. I don't really need any of that stuff right now. The reason why that stuff is obsolete is they don't actually use that stuff anymore. I haven't touched the top down section of this in like quite a long time. All right, so we're gonna have those stuff. I don't really know what I need to have this stuff for. We're just gonna do this for fast. All right, so I'm gonna do a function control check. And I'm just gonna like pass right now. Oh, I'm going to set up some some movements actually real quick. Some input map on this stuff. Uh, we're gonna say um, move, move right, move left, break, accelerate. And then we're gonna have uh, shoots primary, shoot secondary um, ability. I don't know if we abilities yet, but I do want to make their, just in case, that you decide to uh, do that. Right. Let's also do WASD, because you never know if people actually want to use for their stuff. To me, I'm just going to add a, like, a lot of options for this stuff. So I have, like, you know, you can shoot with the buff mouse and all that stuff, but um, I might just try and figure out how to do, like, it's, so you can, like, change this stuff yourself, which I think is actually too hard, honestly. I haven't done it yet, I haven't had a need, need to do it yet, but I'm figuring soon I'm going to have a need to do it. Um, 
mouse button, left click. If you're using this, I think Z should be the shoot button. Shoot secondary will be right click. Oh, shoot wrong one. Uh, secondary would be mouse button, right click, and then X key. Uh, move right, zero. I'm adding this in so I can like do a multiplayer later like, down the road. But if I really want to do, actually, we're not just gonna do this. We do like one. I know computer logic is like zero and so zero to one for like it's like zero one two three four. But like I don't like that. It's a little too complicated for me personally. So we're just gonna have this over at one. Um, two secondary ability. All right, cool enough for me. I like it. Um, Accelerate, shoot, and abilities can be space key. Space. Yeah, no matter what you're playing on, that seems like pretty accessible for right now. All right, so move right, we're gonna add some joy buttons. So we're gonna have like uh, the D-pad right and the joystick right. Uh, left stick right. A lot of options for this stuff that way. So I, I change how I play games a lot depending on how I want to feel like how I feel like playing that day. So I want to make sure that's like available for everyone. They can choose how they want to play their stuff. All right. Um, D pad down. Joystick. Rustic down. D pad. Oh shit! I got uh no wrong one. Um. Right pad up. I know this stuff is really riveting gameplay right now, and like it's really exciting. I feel like it's like I just well see what off guard is. They're just like, wow, this is really boring. It's like, you know, this is a foundational game dev right here. It's not exactly a fun time, but it's more of a fun time when you're actually doing it. I like shooting for R2, R2 L2, V secondary shooting. If anyone has any other options, you can always add more to it. It's not a huge deal. R2, L2, and Ability. The tab be like R1 or something. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do here for Shift Controller is we're also gonna have an export integer variable. I'm gonna call this um, player ID. We're actually gonna put this in the player one because it's more of a player thing and I can add yeah, we're just running. It equals one by default, though. All right, so control check. Um, variable move right equals input that is action pressed. Um, move right. But I'm not going to have this. Instead, we're going to do this player ID. So if we have like player two, like two players, if you look for player two's input, We'll still be like move right two instead of move right one, and we'll get the right input for this. It's a really easy way and slick way to do this, and I really think it's like, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just useful. It's good stuff. Move. Move right. Uh, move right. They don't have like um, accelerates. And then we're gonna have like. All right, move left, Jesus Christ, I'm like, not even like in, like able to like think today. Uh, move left. Accelerates. Right. All right, cool stuff. Uh, all right. Man, his music is like slapping right now. Honestly, my Ask him if I can suck. Actually, I already have his permission to, to use his stuff and future in like in like games and everything. So I might just go ahead and do that as well. All right. So got controller check. All that stuff's going in. Uh, let's go to ship controller. Let's do some like some little other stuff. Um, variable. Um, 
can move boolean uh, equals true. Actually, it's an equal false to start with, and we'll fix that up later on as we go. Um, and can move, and can move, and can move, and can move. This is like a little shortcut, so I can like just check to see if whatever I need is on there. All right. Now, how my ship controller works though is like this. So I want instant controls, like instant feedbacks, or about cape puppets, scenes, 2D modules. Uh, we're gonna have movement systems. I want instant movement systems for this. Instant movement system, no jump system, of course. We're gonna add all this other stuff in afterwards, but I wanna get this all set up. There's gonna be run uh, run speed, that's it. Uh, Spolt speeds, we're gonna put this by default to like 50, I don't know. Let's like, say like 35, 30 is good enough for me right now. All right, there's no signals gonna be set up for this. Gravity, there is no gravity. Air control is all in air, so 100% air control. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna have the, um, we should have all this stuff set up. Uh, so I'm just gonna like, all right, so characters, scenes, 2D, templates, top down, top down. Out. Please not have not really messed up my progress up too much. I fucking might have messed up a little bit there. Alright. So bitch. Alright, let's see what I messed up here. Everything probably. Yup, I probably fucked up, didn't I? Oh my god. All right, kids, that son of a bitch, man. I always break my stuff, every time. I don't know how I constantly do this shit. Dude, dude, dude. And I think, guys, I broke my thing, son of a bitch. This isn't like super game breaking or just like world ending, it's just like, you know, pretty, pretty much a pain in the ass. The huge pain in the ass, actually. All right, um, top down. Character core. I'm just gonna have to do some screwing up again. Um, we're gonna do this here. Go here and scene. Uh, top down. 2D puppet. Head puppets, scenes, 2D, templates, top down. We're going to delete this one. Yep. We're going to save right here. And we're going to try and salvage this now. Chip controller. Oh, look at that. A beautiful thing. Trying to like work on your mistakes. When you, when you have messed up as often as I mess up, you will you get, you get used to fixing this shit. <laughs> you get used to it. Unfortunately, <laughs> or doing now though is reason why I actually do this for a reason now. I visual manager characters visual manager. We save everything as a subset. That way, if something gets messed up, like let's say like this scene gets broken, if I have this separate saved separately, this will not get corrupted. It will not get messed up enough for I to redo it all of it again, which is a huge time save for me personally. All right, so get that character core. Everything is set up here. Let's go down to ship player, player controller. Sick. Now let's get down to business. Da, 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 da. All right, this is gonna be, uh, we're gonna delete this here. Go to ship scripts. Uh, it's actually gonna be in scripts here, I think. Yep, puppets. Top down. Uh, core 2D. Okay, forgot I was even looking for it at the other right now. I forgot I was looking for 
Oh yeah, so I can see if modulate is moved to said That already gets there. That stuff is all set up now. Cool. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back all the way up to my player controller here. We're gonna open this up. We're actually gonna close all tabs. We're gonna do this, this, that way it's just clean slate, easy to see what the hell I'm doing here. Um Okay, so we're gonna do apply gravity. So what we need to do here is make a function function physics process we're gonna do move module dots apply gravity and delta I believe in there as well yeah delta needs to be moved in there yep delta needs in there all right so delta needs to move into there and then we're going to do control check all right and then after that we're going to do we're gonna work on this real quick uh, move. All right, so we're gonna I'm just gonna move. Uh, move module dot move. Bam. Very cool. This is all. This like a very low basic setup on how this all works. All of the code that I really need for player movement is already in this, so we're not gonna really need to worry about any of that, which is awesome. For the sake of this game, I'm also gonna remove this wall slide and stuff like that. It's convoluted code that doesn't need to be there. Um, nope, don't need falling either. There's no falling in like this game, so there's no need for that. For module, uh, don't need any of that stuff, so we're all set with that as well. All right, so that should all be set up. Handling direction. Uh, I'm going to do this, if y equals this, if y equals that, um, up, down. Just in case I want to add some like, kind of like chase scene or like reverse gameplay afterwards, I'm going to leave this in there. Not really needed whatsoever, but you know, just, 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 just in case, you know, just, just in case. Alright, so let's do this. Break. Um... Velocity. All right. So what we're gonna do here, we got move. We need another function though. We're gonna call this function. Um, apply velocity, and it's going to be a. Uh, let's just call this um, new velocity. So we're just gonna do this. Um, velocity equals. Actually, do we need that at that point? Because there's no actual point in doing that. So I can just do it right here. Um, so we're gonna do if move right. Move module dot velocity dot x equals move module dot what, what speed is it right here uh, move speed yeah so it's gonna be like this move speed and then we're just gonna take this left side alrighty bop bop very cool now we're just gonna do this two more times here and do this so I have more space to write if accelerates if break dot y dot y is going to equal next
an hour. Alright, cool. I'll tell you about that. I have a uh, I have a USB extender that keeps track of all my extra stuff and all that. And it just stops working randomly and <laughs> it's confusing so I had to like do a little quick little work on that. Alright, so all this stuff is pretty like basic. I'm gonna have to change a lot of this stuff well, a little bit more later on, but I'm gonna try about right now. Right now, what I want is to do this. So we got this here. Uh, I'm gonna slap this. I'm gonna close all this shit down. Quick, I'm just gonna templates. Yeah, close templates, close scripts. Modules are here if I need them. I don't think I'll need that many more though. Don't need that up. Uh, ship controller. This stuff should all be in here now. Uh, ship scripts. Yep. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna open up scenes, characters, player ship controller. Bop. And then we're gonna move this boy over here. We're going to add a node to D. Call this boy cam. Cam rig. Uh, we're gonna find the camera brick script that I have here. So next step. Uh, camera rig. Bop. Delete that shit because I don't need it. Camera rig is in scripts now. Toss this right here. Uh, camera 2D, of course. Oops, cam. Set to active. All right, I'm also gonna go and mess with some other stuff real fast in here that I need, like window shape and size. I mean, 1920 by 1080p, you know, general to full HD. Oh, HD by, sure, why not? Resizable, of course, borderless, no. Add up for later on if I really need to. Uh, mode 2D, uh, keep. Okay. On physics layers, I don't really know what I need anything with that right now. Got 2D render. We're gonna have uh, environment character uh, hazard, I suppose. Hazard. And collectible. collectible. Don't really know if we need any of that stuff, but we're gonna figure it out later on, anyways. Okay. I think we still have is still going there. Oh, my, uh, my audio isn't playing. Like that. Okay. All right, here, here we go. Oh, shit. I messed up already. Um, camp. All right, so we go over here. We move this stuff all over here. Bam, just keep it right there. Target path. It's going to be player ship script for now. It's going to call this player. Bam. All right. Open my Xbox controller up. So what we're doing now is we're gonna add a little rectangle, little rectangle. Right about here, we're gonna turn it to just green, for example. Be sweet too, good indicator to see how we're doing, how we're moving around, all that stuff. Um, offsets, no offsets. Character, zoom, we're gonna do like two and two. All right, so like 0 0.6, 0 0.6. All right, let's see this runs at all, what we have issues with. Scenes, uh, characters. It's gonna be in scripts. Uh, ship scripts, ship scripts, ship. If I can spell it at all here, um, ship scripts. Bam, fix that up. Camera limits. Uh, setup limits, camera ready, camera. 
Oh, I have some limits. All right, so it's all gonna be, uh, yeah. Limit top equals limits, top limit. I forgot about this, actually. Uh, limits. Um, position TD. All right, what are we calling them, though? I call them top limit, bottom limit. Top limit. Bottom limits. Right limits. Left limits. All right, so these are just things I'm gonna, uh, so I'm gonna save this as well as a new branch to make sure nothing happens to it. It's a nice little camera rig setup that I have made before. It's a really useful little thing. Uh, but right now, the top limit's gonna be like set right there. I'm not too worried about any of these limits right now. All right, so run this now, see what happens up here if I run it finally. And nothing is happening, which is, you know, not too, it's kind of concerning. Um, oh, sh shit, I messed up, didn't I? Yeah, I messed up. Um, yeah, I have a little hyphen on certain spots of these, not all of them. Okay. No issues per se, it's just like, does it run? All right, so we got a control check. All right, at the end of this, we're gonna print uh, velocity, and do move mm -hmm. module dot velocity. Got a little, okay. I should have that uh, plus six. Nope, not like that. Um, module invalid get index velocity I spell velocity wrong all right so we're gonna do this try this again here um, prints move right So what I do know is, oh, I'm, I'm, excuse me, that's, that's, that's my problem right now. I'm just a little, a little dumb. But anyway, it's not working. Uh, can move equals equals true. Jesus Christ. <sighs> messed up real fast myself. All right, so it does work. You know, it's a little floaty. So we just gotta do this every single time. Uh-huh. Move module dot velocity equals vector two, bam. Every single time, it's gonna reset the frame. So I got like a nice little shooter here, this little type movement, you know, it's not super fast, cause it's like, low on speed, we're gonna increase that some more. What we're actually gonna do with this one is we're gonna modify this a tiny bit. So we're gonna do this, uh, movement speeds. Um, Export variable uh, accelerate speed. We got this like zero, or like 30, 30, whatever. Export variable break speed equals 30. So, what we're gonna have here is we're gonna go back to here and it's going to go to so accelerate, it's going to be accelerate speed and break speed. This is a little different, so that way it can like, you know, keep it more ship-like, can make it, so I mean like, it's not hard to customize this for like a, a game, for your own game, which I, I love my, my little uh, my little asset pack I have going on here. Accelerate speed, we'll put like 30, it's a little hard to move back there, put like 50 for that. Uh, movement speed, so we'll put like 50 as well. All right, let's see what we got here. So it's slower, so it's a little fast, it's faster to move back, there's a heavier break. Move forward, it's a little slower. Moving it side to side, it just moves just fine. 
Pretty cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to... Actually, I'm going to take a little, a, 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 a little capture for this. Uh, we're just going to go to OBS. I know, it's like, bear with me. And this is like kind of like the not so fun part of all this stuff is like having to capture all the, all of these things. I don't want chat. I just want to record real fast. Uh, nope. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to call this uh, GIF, GIF maker. This is pretty much going to be used for. Um, a display capture. No, I want a window capture. Um, I want a window capture. I'm going to call this game engine debug perfect all right and then we're gonna record real quick do a little recording here all right we're just gonna like put that aside all right, so this is kind of like what I have to do to keep my, you know, you gotta keep engagement up or anything like that. Making gifts is kind of how you do that for the most part. That's how I do that. Um, a video to gift, please. This is not easy gift at all. Um, easy gift, thank you. Easy gift is by far my favorite like gift maker. I love easy gift. It just works so well. Uh, upload. Charge your phone, turn on time, fuck yourself. But all right, so I'm gonna do a little thing for, uh, it's gonna see how long this whole thing is. Yeah, up to 10 seconds, then just works out for me just fine. Boom, boom. we're gonna add a new folder here, and gonna call this Project star progress. Let's say uh, day one progress. Um, basic movements. Bam. And then we're gonna go to Twitter. <laughs> I know it's a whole fun process right here. Uh, we're gonna just keep a string. We're gonna keep the thread going here. here 10 out of 10 all right so that's all good to go and pop this back over here I got that new little little thing here basic movement is all going plus this little ship sprite is now procedural and all set for uh, editing when I want to get that going on here all right so, do, 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 do. Boring marketing stuff. Um, okay, then I have like the Okay, it's doing that little thing. Uh, let's add back to the chat here. Bam. Down time. Cool. So that's all good to go. What are we gonna actually let's just let's work on milestones real quick so I actually know what I'm doing with the milestone section of this whole thing. Alright, so we're gonna do a roadmap of Alpha One. I'm gonna call this Houston. Uh, Houston, we have 
um, have take off. So let's say lift off. Way more accurate, I suppose. The original setting, uh, used to be lift off. Uh, this, uh, this build will feature full player movements, uh, movements along Uh, movements along with uh, camera movements, um, player ship animation should be set. Uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, really basic, small stuff. Um, we're gonna say um, Top Gun. Uh, this builds will feature. Um, Combat with uh, shooting, shooting, with shooting, uh, and that's uh, yeah, that's it. And a uh, more developed combat system that can be uh, built on, plus a gun um, inventory system. Yeah. The game is gonna probably start off with like no guns actually, and then you'll have to get guns on there. So top guns, that'll get most of the basic features into the game. Um, I would add enemies in at this point. However, um, this uh, this build will feature the, um, the ship upgrade system. That will be simple but fun. Well, fun and offer new ways to play. Not sure how it's gonna look just yet, but the importance of this is that you're gonna be able to play through like the stages. Um, this will also feature a more developed level up system for the ship. Um, Enemies at year 12. Alright, so this is gonna be um, enemy AI will be added into the game and should be destroyable and attack you. Uh, AI will be basic but should be fun. And not dull. It's um it's a shooter. It's a fast paced shooter, not a strategy shooter. That's to keep in mind. I'm on top of that. All right, uh, should be fun. Then I then I write that. All right, and this one is going to be it's a new world. It's a it's a new world. This will this this build will feature the area generation system and a more complete uh, feeling game. Then we'll just do like a beta one and all that shit after that. Once again, not gonna worry about this stuff too much until I actually have like more to go with. Two, beta, three, beta, four, beta, five. All right, cool. There's a very small game, not too crazy or anything like that. But we are going to get it going here. Um, my, brain, my brain falls off. I'm just gonna lay down here too. It's getting pretty dark out. It's, I'm going to get some water and be right back. We'll get started working on the rest of stuff. Okie dokie, I am back. So, let's get started. Right now we have feature full put movement along with camera movement. Basically the player can move. That's gonna be important, so let's do this. Let's get this character 
move in. All right, so we're gonna have some boundaries in this. Terms of, um, we're gonna have. All right, we're gonna call these UTD. We're gonna call these um, boundaries. Now we're gonna only have really two boundaries here, so I'm gonna call this uh, body. Static body 2D. All right, we're gonna call this side boundaries. I'm gonna add collision shape 2D to them. Need two of those boys. I need a square and a new square to make unique. All right. So we can add these to the camera rig so they kind of just move along with the camera. So this game will never surpass like this section, you know? All right, so that way we have like that. Actually, it's gonna do like this, you make it easy, even easier for me. Okay, just move it like over here. All right. So this way we kind of can like move to the side of the screen, but like it's never gonna allow you to go past this section. And we're gonna have called the, I'm just gonna do this as well and delete this. We're gonna say um, top, top boundary. So we're not gonna have a bottom boundary because bottom boundaries is just gonna be like, basically just gonna let you quit the game. Um, so top boundary. We're just gonna rotate this 90 degrees and then move it upward to the top. Make a unique instance of it and just, yeah. Side boundary right here. This is gonna be like this. Top, down, down. All right, and let's let this move along with the camera, which is fine. Just go what we want. All right, so collision, that's what we want. Layer, these are layer one, I believe. Don't I need a masking thing? Um, the hell, I have these layers set up. Oh, I probably didn't put the physics, you know. All right, let's just do this too. Uh, environments, character, hazard. Collectible. I spelled that wrong, but it doesn't matter. If I spell it wrong, as long as I spell it, so it makes sense for me. There we go. So there we go. That's all fixed up now. All right. Cool. 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 Is our environment? So now I just gotta go to player. Go to here. Ship controller. Go to yeah. Ship controller is fine. Um, Body, collision, layer, we're in a character, the mask, environments, bam. Um, groups, I am in, this one is gonna be in the player group. Top 10, that's all we need for that. Let's hit the player deal set on that one. All right, cool. So this should now allow me to like just move to the side, but not past the side. So let's get this stuff start, set up real quick. Oh shit, I actually need to set the bound the limit up for that as well. So the right limit is now gonna be right here. And the left limit is going to be like right here. Top limit is gonna constantly be set to a different thing entirely. So we're just gonna like move that up to whenever I need to move that up to. Is it not working? I'm like, control is not working. No, my control is not, wasn't working. All right. So I don't know if it's actually allowing, I need to make sure that this is actually working. So we're gonna take the right, gonna increase the size of the player a little bit. So we're gonna go to here. 
we're going to go to visual manager uh, we'll find um, shift controller in general and we're just going to increase the size of this by default to like 2.2 make it a little bigger that looks fine for like the uh the collision shape for it all right that way it's a little bit more here on the player controller we're going to make this speed about 80 we have brake speed about 60 65 about 40 oh. Oh, 50, oh, 45 is fine to me. So I want this to be a little less, so yeah. So it's like more like actually in the way here. And I don't think, I don't think it's actually stopping it. So side boundary, this would be the left, um, the left shape and then the right. I don't know why this would not be working, but you know, it's not for me to decide. It's for you to figure out. Definitely not working there. Um, true collision shape. Thank you. Get off that, please. Thank you. All right. Oh, I know why it's doing that for. That's, you know. So, camera rig. I actually need it to um, not, we don't need a target for this stuff actually. We don't need a target at all. We don't need this either. What we actually need is we need a position dot y plus equals um, scroll speed times delta. Uh, so we're gonna do Export float variable scroll speed equals five. All right, and that actually should uh should work. What we're also gonna need here is the auto scroll system, so we're gonna have to have um move module dot velocity dot y minus equals we need to have the uh I need to go to instant movement system here Break speed export variable um auto move speed equals like 10. all right doesn't really matter what it is for now um so then I go here, minus equals move module dot auto scroll speed. That way it increasingly moves with it. So we're gonna do here, it's gonna have the camera move by five and we're gonna make the players auto scroll speed be like, like five. Uh, camera rig, we're just gonna move the camera up some. Looks more like this. All right, cool. That didn't work at all. Um, auto scroll speed, instant move system, auto auto move speed. Jesus, a little uh, brain dead there. It's okay. All right. That does indeed work. What I'm gonna do with the top limit is just remove it. Uh, top limit is not actually needed for this at all. Let's go move it. All right, so then we're gonna take the side boundaries, left shape, just move over to this side here. Oh, I should, I shouldn't be farther away still. Right shape, farther away. Top shape, just need to like bring it together a little more. Okay, and yeah, looks great. Okay, you remove that. Oh, left shape, really, just a little more to the right side, a little more here. Just 
move this whole like boundaries up just a little bit. This I should barely see it. Yep. Try to figure this all out. It's all going here a little better than what it is now. I want a little off screen. So you can go a little bit off screen, but not super far off screen, you know? Just a little bit off screen. Very picky about this. I think this is probably the perfect fit for it. Yeah, it's pretty perfect for it. Did I see that? Nope. All right, and that should all be like pretty good. All right, so we got the basic movement going here. I can see my accelerations a little fast, but not too fast. My braking even faster. Up to right movement. It's a little slow, to be honest. I don't really like that too much. I'll try like 120. I just want a little bit faster movement for those on the side here. I think that's pretty good. All right, I think that is cool. It's all set there. All right, so we have the auto movements, uh, the character movements, mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. It's all cool and dandy. All right, so I want now is we have the basic setup here. It's a little ship move, so we have to add so ship movement now, uh, manager. We're just gonna say like, um, we're gonna add an animation. Animation player. Um, wing am. Let's say fly, uh, flying. So this. real pain in the ass here we're gonna be doing like this so we're gonna have to like do 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 do, do. flying all right uh animation add track gonna keyframe that way better way to do this really but like So that's actually not the issue. Um, the issue is gonna be the region. All right, so we're going to here, point two, the rectangle. No, no reset track, don't need, don't need that shit. Uh, do I reset track right down here? Yeah, I do. Do it double fast. These tracks are really cool though. I would really, I really like them.
So it leans a little more on the left side. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to say that much right now. There's probably an easier way to do this, but this is just the way I'm doing it. This is not gonna work. I need to actually. We gotta do this a little differently. Uh, Brain is not comprehending how, to, how much we're doing this right now. All right. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and we're gonna say we're just gonna crop this. Yep. Uh, crop. Let's crop that. And say these are. We're gonna say that was a PNG file. Say. Wings, basic. Let's say starter, let's say starter, starter, save. We just go back out of that. I don't want that at all. Uh, just go out of that, into there. All right, let me just undo that. Basically, all this crazy shit right here. Um, so we're gonna wings, characters, wing starter, starter wings. All right, um, two pixel. So there's the fault for textures, two pixel. Bam. Breaking my little brain here. All right, so region not enabled. We do have an animation though. We're gonna need to do this, so it's like that. There's an easy way to do this, but I just do not comprehend right now. Um, studios, my sub, product star, graphics, characters, wings to starter, upload, individual images. I don't see if this is a bottle. Alright, um, it's actually not efficient whatsoever. Sprite sheet maker. Cool. Uh, 
Um, clear. Open. Wings starter. Also do is like all right. Let's try different approaches real fast. Um, do this. Ram. Export as here. Let's just go to like this is like the most pain in the ass idea. So there's probably like a way easier way to do this. I'm just like actually just brain dead. All right, so we're gonna go to wing one. Super expensive shit up my computer class. Oh my god, Super Express Experience pain in the ass now. Stop. I want you to stop doing this shit. Exit. All this stuff that I just did, but you know, sometimes it's just easier to brute force than I think too fat, too hard. Um, Alright, do, 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 do. we're gonna save this. Downloads. I want a spreadsheet, thank you. I'm gonna go back to here, click all of our stuff again. Do the most like convoluted way to do this possible. Uh, Ava Simple Studio, Studio Finish Games, No Developments, Project Star, um, uh, Graphics, Characters, Wings, Starter. Yeah, there we go. Boys, there we go. We got this working finally. All right, H frames. You basically, get H frames. I don't care about the H frames as much though as I do like.
All right, so we're gonna move these things over here. Wings, just plop them right down here or something like that, you know, like. Scale the wings a little bit here or something? If I do like 29. Do always just like one size a little bit than the other. It's fucking tragedy. Like I said, it's all set up. It's, it's fine for right now. It's kind of fine. Uh, I want to turn it off. It's grid snapping, so I can like. start uh delete this the shit delete all of it all right so wings here we go finally the uh all we're all waiting for is like the actual like the will actually work three six eight yeah that's it uh so about point five or something like that um point four Point four or five. Ten, ten. All right, there we, that should that should do it. That was the uh, super convoluted way and how I am going to accomplish all this stuff. Why is it red for? Nothing here is red though. Is it just red? Weird. I go to gameplay, is it still red? No, it's not red at all, it's strange, wait, it's strange, I don't, I don't know. Not my, like, super, like, really caring about the whole thing, I'll show them, quick, quick, show us off. Alright. Alright, so it's, you know, it feels pretty good to play, you know, it's like, not like, Camera's not open though, it's weird. Um, all right, so, camera limit top, just equals whatever I want to, you know, it's not the problem with that is. Uh, limits top, the issue with that is supposed to be, the camera's supposed to be moving up constantly. It's supposed to turn up a little bit, I don't really know what to about this one, like. Is it like only way to actually tell? Uh, if we go to here, color rectangles. Let's make sure this is still like it's running. It's hard to tell without like an actual. So if this does not go up at all, oh, it's going in reverse. What the? Okay. I'm gonna do. Forgot. It's a minus equals not plus. It's like this is kind of a little weird. Then like, we're only like, progressing that much farther along or anything, you know. Alright, you know, that seems pretty fine. I'm just gonna kinda like throw a throw a few of these up real fast. Make sure you're going. Alright. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make a fun little title screen. Because I need to put this just the first build is pretty much good to go. There's no sound or anything yet. That's not like unexpected though. That's just not a like a finished to first build kind of thing. Title for the title screen, I can quickly throw in HTML copy on itch, and we can just start that whole process going on there. Won't be super cutting edge or amazing or even like that great, but it will be something that will 
work until we are ready to make it work better. Actually, where's my... Oh, the record that. That's just this will work better than plugged in right now, so that's what it's plugged in. Man, I have to use the restroom, so I'll be right back. Let's make a little title screen here. Um, let's start by having a visual manager up here. So let's go to here, visual manager. Um, let's say uh, ship visual. Cool. All right, I get this going over here. Let's time. Let's let's ambulize like a lot, like seven by seven or something. And we're gonna go put, put it right here. Um, Visual, and we're gonna go to a canvas. Uh, we even need a canvas, no we don't need a canvas really. So it's all just gonna make idly staying by, so it's not really needed at all. Uh, I'm gonna call this title label. All right, we need to get a cool font though for this. So we're gonna go to fonts. Uh, fonts, 10 out of 10, awesome. Um, let's look for something that's fun. Alright, let's uh let's find one that's like let's look for like any um modern, I guess, like uh looking for something that's like futuristic, I suppose, font categories. Comic -y. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see what this looks like at all. No, it's when it's like a little more it's like fitting too, you know. That would be pretty sick, but it's pretty not personal personal use though. Road rage is also a cool one, but it's only for personal use. Welcome to the fun life of finding a font for this stuff, because it's not. Uh, that would be pretty good, right, actually. I'd have loved that one, not gonna lie. Uh, wish I could put it so it only shows me ones that are like free to use for all, everything. Font. It's kind of want free, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, fonts free. Sci-fi, game of squids. 100% free. I like this. Oh, let's try this one fast. Um, graphics, fonts, main fonts. Let's see how this logo looks. I kind of like this whole thing. So let's go to here. Um, graphics, fonts. No, wrong one. It's the wrong thing entirely. Game Dev Studios. Very simple. Development. Project Star. Graphics. Fonts. Just like extract the file here. 
I'm just gonna delete this stuff. Main fonts. And it's gonna do this whole thing right here. Bump. Main fonts. I think it's in uh, theme now. No, theme, theme overrides. That's what it said now. All right, so new dynamic th fonts. There are also new colors as well. Uh, font setting, we're gonna do this one right here. Uh, don't know what colors need to be. So we're gonna say uh, project star. I'll put like 100 uh, settings, 130. Project star, 10 out of 10. Um, I don't really know what to do with the whole thing. I think I might actually go and snag a shader I was using for another project. So if I go to here real quick, game devs, studios, personal usage, uh, physical planning tools, project files, graphics, shaders, 2D, star shader. I don't have to file, but do I? I was right, gonna take this so I can just use this one still. If it'll work out for me or not. Be right there. What's that, guys? Sorry about that, guys. There's a leak in the apartment, and I wanted the dudes just checking it out and trying to find out where it's at. I feel a little bad because, like, right now our uh, bathroom is like we just dyed our hair and stuff, and like my device is kind of you know well, not my 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 device my uh, my dye is a little bit uh a little bit messy. So the bathroom looks like, it looks like a bit of a mess right now, even though it's really not gonna last that long. Just haven't like had the sweet try. It takes a while to finish it out. And I hope they don't say anything about it, because I don't want to have to be like, yeah guys, it's not a huge issue. Then like, yeah, it's actually a massive issue. And like I understand the concern. Let's hope not. Um anyways. That looks like it just worked out. 10 out of 10, guys. Oh, that was pretty sick. All right, so let's go to here. Remove the power there. Project Star. I love that visual. I don't know about you guys, but I am digging this, like, a lot. All right. Let's do some, like, cool little stuff here real fast. I'm just going to pop this open. Edible children. Uh, we're going to do, like, the wings. We'll do them orange.
Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Do I want? I'm just gonna make a cool little ship on here, and we're just gonna like slap that. I'm just gonna like make a cool little guy in here real fast. That it actually can't change ships though. It's a little bit more than I thought I could. That's cool. I like that like classic look though, like that like little Yeah, I'm I'm digging that. That's pretty sweet looking, and then we'll do like something like cool, something like cool like that. Right sheet for this graphics, um, characters, title, um, title ship. And we're just gonna kind of just do this entirely different. You know, I'm just gonna like take this little ship visual, just delete it entirely, make a new spray with a little animation on it, and yeah, you know, it's gonna be really simple. A, a, a nice little thing for it, you know. Um, ship. Ship sprites, ship anim. Yeah. This way, it'll give you like a little, a little tease of what you can build, what your what we can build your thing up to. I'm just gonna lock this in place, and we need to mess with that. All right, we're gonna do like transform five by five, okay. characters, title, title ship. All right, animation, H frames here. Oh, what animation looks like. So we're gonna do instead is add a little particle effect to this. I do like eight by eight maybe. Yeah, project star. I I, I, I did this a lot actually. All right, gonna you know, post up a little bit higher. We're gonna make a new version. We call this. Um, Version label alpha one. We're going to do theme override overrides here. Colors, font color alpha one. Then we're gonna like go to rectangle and make this a lot smaller. 0.3.3. Point five point five. Just align it with the center. Mm -hmm. Bam. Alpha one. Um, Houston. Nah, we're gonna do the whole label thing. All right. Uh, ship spray. It's all set with that. With that over a little more. Bam. Um. Start. Label. Uh. Insert coin. for this guy right here as well. So a little animation player. Um, start and I'm gonna call this blink. It's gonna attract the uh, the whole thing. We're gonna put this boy on repeat as well. Alright, the start label. I just keep doing that for it's so weird as hell. Um Usability. It's gonna start with this right here. We're gonna go to here. With this. We're gonna go to like this orange. I don't know why it keeps doing that for, but it's really, really annoying. So I can't like see anything. I'm doing all the colors here. Just frustrating. 
Why does it do that for? Like, well, it's all in animation. Why does it do that for? It's like tempting. I'll then go to animation. Reset. Let's say I have no, no reset. I don't, I don't want to reset. I have no idea what's going on here. What I do know is that it's not useful at all. Uh, it's actually really like, cum like cumbersome here. All right, so now I'm just gonna go like this. All right, what I need now is for it to go to uh, scale. And about like right here, it'll hit uh, like one, one. I need to add this is for it to just be like average in here like this. Um, click text. All right, so we're not going to keep the scaling of it in. What we're going to do is actually go to here, start in on label. Um, Theme overrides fonts. I'm just gonna make a new font real fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this font, I'm gonna go to font settings, size of text, and then about here we'll go to like 145. Uh, uh, no, this needs to be like continuous. Run this real fast. We're gonna select current. I'm gonna unlock it real fast. And just like turbo extend it. Star, I think these two I'm gonna move up a little bit more. I'm gonna move this down a little bit more as well. Alright, and now we're gonna go to um title manager, put this in the scripts. Scripts. We're gonna go to menus. That's not nice on menus at all. Uh, delete that real fast. So I can make a new one. Call it menus. Little manager. Wow. We're gonna have a um, animation player. Call this title anim. And we're also going to have another color rectangle. I'm gonna call this um, fade rectangle. It's gonna be black, cause you know, it's space. It's gonna like probably share over here. All right, title animation here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna call this um, fade. So we can fade in, fade it out. Title screen is gonna be faded in by automatically. Uh, function that uh, should like um, input event if uh, variable uh, variable start game equals if event is input dot uh, is action pressed start. Um, event is input. Uh, all right, event is um, all 
All right, so if event is input that is action just pressed, start game. game function start game um, play game play game hit okay, start game uh, then we're going to we call play game 10 out of 10 hit play game we're going to get title animation um, dot play Play backwards, fade. Um, variable can input equals true. Can input equals false. If not can input return. That way, to press the button, it's go time, no take back seeds or anything like that. All right, so then we're gonna yield to get Tree dot create timer about like 1.2 seconds, whatever time out. We're going to um we'll go to here do export um uh, pack pack scene pack scene, variable, um, gameplay scene. Oh, I forgot how you change the scene, that's been funny. Um, get tree dot change scene dot change scene to gameplay scene. Bam. All right, now we just have to go and Put a input map in for start game. Start game. Watch. Um. Physical key. Key that's exit. Or pretty much and most, most most things here. Um, join button like. You know, let's just say like if um. On like if, if can if if can input um. If I go to like here now. Oh shit! Never mind. That's not actually not gonna work at all. Uh, I thought it was smooth about that, but it was not. Um, answer. Joy button a joy button start. Okay, roll this up again. Uh, if not, oh, um, if I don't know if there's if not right if equals false return object and bool operands can input if can can input equals false can input equals true return if can input what's the problem this is gonna happen without that or like All right if not can input return Events equals equals. Press our game. Well, that's not happening if I do this. Like, uh. 
Alright, and there's no ceiling should load it into this, so it's gonna be a problem. So gameplay scene. Be right there. Right back, guys. back again still trying to find the leak in the apartment which is unsolvable mystery all right so we got like everything is kind of like working right now it looks like you know like you can press, you can press start boom bam you know it's not like amazing or anything but look it it works it works so we're gonna go to export uh, we're gonna build an HTML file export we're gonna call this um, itch, uh, itch, itch .io web uh, web for desktop for mobile not so much um, adaptive this stuff I'm just gonna leave all alone An icon or not leave that icon not leave the touch any of that stuff um, yeah I'm just kind of like export the project runnable yeah no. Project star. Uh, I'm gonna say like project star builds. We're gonna say this is oh shit. Um, builds. Uh, we need this called index actually. So yeah, so it's just kind of like a whole thing you have to like do to make this run on uh itch. If not anything, I don't even know. It's everything or just ish, but um yeah. So you're gonna press it, set the file up, we're gonna call this um, project star alpha one build. Alright, so we just take all this stuff, we delete it after. Bam. Uh, like there's no audio in the game or anything like that yet. Not really what I'm working on at the moment. Um, pop over to the, like the, this project star. We're gonna go to edit game. Um, we're gonna toss this up. So the base game is not gonna be paid at all. Just the mount, five bucks to get this whole thing going. Obviously it's not a requirement at all. Um, upload files, 
we're gonna be it's gonna be downloadable HTML. Well, to download the game as well, but for right now we're gonna we need to up upload a HTML file. So the tips and tricks of running HTML on itch.io site um, and development builds. You know I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I hate one pilots every single time. I'm just gonna say uh, LGBTQ plus um, game. So I'm like, I'm just gonna like make sure that this is like known. I, I do not like going past it every single time. I'm not gonna explain it every single time. Okay, just to make sure that's like people understand like it's not a uh, it is not anything bad. Yes, full screen and button, should not need it. Alright, um. Shoot your way into space. Uh, sure, let's go to here real fast. I want to make this, uh. You know, right into here. We're gonna take away that real quick. Um, OBS. Start recording, we'll record up to like 10 seconds ish. Cool. Some good little title thing for right now. Nothing too wild is happening on this whole thing, but you know, we're gonna... I do like that font a lot as well, so we're gonna keep it there. Stitches, we don't need this right now. I've got so many shits going on here now. I'm just gonna remove that file, this folder as well, so I don't really need that up right now either. Alright. So the minimum work that we got today was like a whole... Thing. We got all the movement done for like the player's base movement, which is great. We got a little fun title screen up, you know, and so I consider this a big one. It's a good, pretty good start to the day. What's happening over here? What's happening with notifications? You know, like, please. Yeah, how are these posts doing? Um, I don't think they're doing super amazing, but like they're not doing terrible. This was fun. I like this a lot. I like doing this one. Um, just gonna keep doing that. Go over to here, released. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna put it as like, do that for right now. Um, in project star, star, you'll start the basic prop plane. way to building starship for the space features uh System for unique play play styles and runs diverse cast of enemies the shooting doesn't grow stale uh, awesome awesome graphics Alright, 
then we're gonna put a link here because I think it's always like a nice to insert links for this kind of stuff. Um, open a new tab, of course, because I don't want them to do my stuff. Uh, Seconds, well, did for 10 seconds here for the GIF. I'm gonna have to optimize it a tiny. Actually, no, I'm just gonna go to here and do this. It's not that much of a downgrade, and it will allow me so it has to be under three megabytes, I believe, to fit on to like HS actual website, which is a little annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Space on websites take up a lot of like probably costs a lot of money, so I understand. Perfect. Um, we're gonna go here. Project star. We're gonna go to downloads. Project star day one. We're gonna call this um, alpha one um, image uh, capsule capsule image. Let's go to here. Let's toss it in there. Perfect. All right. Background is going to be like, I'm like, I'm like an art. Actually, background. I got an idea for the background. Actually, um, let me just take all this stuff right here, except this, and we're going to run it. Watch my little brain work. So what we're gonna do is make a nice little background for this. So we're gonna start recording. Well, like. It's like nine seconds this time. It's like nine seconds of this recording of this. We need that much, honestly, quite less than that's fine, but I'll go with that much. Boom, so what my thought is, I make a GIF of this. Uh, if it's a GIF, and then I use that as the background image to make this awesome little background for the uh, page. Man. Yeah, it's all gonna be like a little Progress here, but we're getting there. No, don't don't reverse. Don't go back. Go back. Go back one. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna go to here. Thirty. I'm gonna make this like this fine right here. Maybe super smooth or anything like that. It needs to work. Um. It's always like massive. Why? Optimize compression. Did general was fine last time, so let's do this time too. Perfect. I'm gonna go to here. This should be tileable as well. Um, uh, store page background version one. Uh, background boom. Should work as a tile as well. Bam. Perfect. Uh, font pixel. More options, header font, I want that to be pixel. I want this to be um, Lotto, Sun, Serif, Serif, Google font. Uh, I think like oxygen I find. Yeah, it's cool and all. Uh, links, I want that to be more looking orange-ish on there. Um, background to... Text, I want that to be more white. I like this. This isn't like amazing, but it's not bad either. It's pretty good. Save this, edit theme. I know this is like a lot of like, 
a small work for like such a small like a lot of little work little, a lot of like setup work for a game that's supposed to like that we can make but like you know it's uh Gun. Okay, there it goes. All right, cool. Very basic, very nice though. It just adds up to my next little Snapchat part of this, so I can like. All right, let's add all the stuff back to the game now. And now we have a working title screen and general little game movements there title screens there it's got a lot to go but you know it's a pretty solid start for a couple hours of interrupted work Next part of this little development. Even got a little itch page all set up with the nice little game you can play in browser. Now there's not a whole lot to play right now, but you know, it is looking nice though for a pretty basic little startup page for it. Okay. Sound time. Okay, back into my little page here and everything. YouTube, uh, load up YouTube. Oh, it has a stream going for anyways. I haven't even checked. YouTube, check real fast. Gotta say, I like the I like I like the little, uh, little thing there. Um, got three lights. You guys are so kind. Um. Is it only? Oh, what does it be? I'm gonna say at least at least seven twenty. At least seven twenty. I don't know why it's that low, but like at least seven twenty, please. Yeah, seven twenty. Seven twenty. Ah, content live, current. I want to see what's up. I guess, I guess edit so I can like see maybe how long it's been. 
All right, go go live. We're gonna go, we're gonna go live. We're gonna manage. Check this out. I want to see how long it's been going off right now. So I like, I just want a little like duration here. There's there's like, I should have probably tell me actually. Um, almost three hours now. So like, this is actually three hours of progress, which has been like convoluted by multiple things. It's not actually too bad. I'm actually thought that was going worse progress than this. Um, yeah, so like this is now a highlight that green. Bam, I'm done. Alright. Yeah, adding like guns in the next update here. We're gonna throw in a quick uh, little thing. Little dev log. <laughs> Alpha 1. Launch. Yo. Thanks for checking out this little game I uh, started making today as soon as I saw uh, Ken release his ship mixer, uh, ship mixer tool. Um, I saw the notification on my phone. Untitled game where um, an untitled roguelite where you'll start as a makeshift plane and shoot your um, shoot and barrel barrel roll your way into space with with upgrades with upgrades. That's the that's the idea. That's the idea. Um, it's also meant to be made within a single week for the initial um, game uh, game build that'll be considered uh, complete.
and the funds will be going to H.io, um, Kenny's awesome pool, and a little, little slice for myself. I want to make sure the tools and platforms that allow me to make and distribute games. Prototype um, available in browser. Share with uh, with your friend, your uh, friends, and uh, at me on uh, Twitter. At or the um, studio on Twitter. That's a bit simple. Polish dates. Um, today, put image, let's do that with it. Bam. Took a little, it took a minute, but you know, it's, it's a little thing, you know. stuff is cool things are going on here let us just hop off this page though for a minute and get going um audio will also be added you can see the game with this update cool so let's start with just getting the audio into the game so the touch screen is no longer important to me at all uh, visuals, not that important. Ship controller, we do need to add some audio to this stuff. Um, audio. And I want to add music as well. So let's come a rig. This stuff is super important right now. Um, audio, we call this music. Game player, general, um, game music, and I do have. Let's go to YouTube. I have Nikad's permission to use music in the game with credits, of course. I'll make sure to share this with him after to also make sure it's cool. something I really like to put in with this. Classic, how to take uh, how to take the stuffs. Alright, 
check this out. Download 10 out of 10. Um, game Dev Studios, Ava Simple, Development, Project Star, Audio. I don't have an audio folder yet. That would help out a lot, actually. SFX, um, Music. All right, fuck your survey. I um, don't want that. All right, they won't have so that. I do have the um, some more stuff that I want that I have in here. We go to game, tool shed, audio software, SFXR, and load that boy up. That's gonna be great for what I need for this tools here. Uh, development, project star, bam. All right, so then we're gonna have launch. It's another one we're using for the game. Music, bam. All right, 10 out of 10. So, got some. It's all loaded real fast, let's do this thing. Title, characters, graphics. I don't need graphics right now at all. Graphics, any graphics. Don't need any of that stuff quite yet. Just some good audio. Music. I want launch to be in this right now. Auto play. Um, audio. At well, I'm gonna call this music. Music. SFX. Alright. I'm just gonna load this up and see how it sounds. Maybe I'll put it down to like negative five or something like that. I think it's pretty cool. You know, we'll figure it out if I actually want that to be like the music later on on the road, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's fine. That's good though. It's cool stuff. Maybe I'll even see who wants to make something for it and let's pay him up, or, you know what I'm saying? Alright, and anyways, because you know, I don't like rambling off forever. Game music. So we got some of that. Let's go to the title screen all fast. So we don't really want to mess the title screen all that much, but we got some title music now. So let's go here and just slap this boy in here and call this title music. Look at that slap. Cat in space right there. Bam. Buy for this. Alright, very cool. Uh, music. 10 out of 10. Don't give a shit. What is that? Can you check to see if it's looping by default? These both need to loop. We can port. Alright. So let's make some side effects now. Make some. Um, I'm just gonna have a bunch of sounds we're gonna try out and see what, see what, see what fits the best, I guess, be the thing for it. Um, get into studios, it is simple, development, Spartak Star, audio, SFX, shooting one, shooting two. So I've got a ton of these, so I can just like know it's gonna like. Of these so I can like interchange it a little bit. 
There we go. Alright, um... So for right now, let's go to here. We got SFX, scene. Oh, I'm gonna have this off for like a second here. And just, yeah, all right. All right, so we're gonna audio, um, death. I right, little note here and call this, um, actually no, we're not gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna do this instead. This is much better. Um, audio stream player. Um, death audio. So death SFX. Um, we're gonna say shoot SFX, and we're gonna do hurt SFX. Also want um accelerate SFX and I want breaking SFX. So break SFX. So we're gonna do this instead. We're gonna do accelerate up here. Break. Shoot, hurt, and death. It makes sense to me. All right, we're gonna go to um, ship audio manager. Ship scripts. Shit. Uh, uh, ship audio manager. Scripts, ship scripts, get the one there, All right? Create, bam. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, so function play, um, play sound, um, sound name. Let's say. Play random, we're going to do um, self.stream. Let's go to equal audio clips random audio clips. 
clips dot size minus one. All right. I'm gonna do self dot play. So great. So we can go to here. Um, sure, let's script dot. Scripts itself. Bam. Alright, so I uh, put man or player death SFX, which has nothing to do with it. Uh, death SFX, a few of them here. Um, from scroll spy for you. Uh, right, so death one, two, three. All right. So all right, so we're gonna go to here. Yeah, add in a new module. for now. Um, damage jump don't exist. Okay. Hurt. Sound actually just play sound. Hurt. Okay. And then on death, it's gonna play random sound. Um death. S effects. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move the S effects part of the whole thing and just death. Because this will be much easier to handle if I do like this. Okay. And with that, this will cover most of the stuff I have to do right now. I'm going to head off for the night and we'll be back working on this tomorrow. So I will see you guys uh, later on.